I'm very glad that there are other biennales all around the world in other continents. That's not the only one where you have to, to kind of uh, do all, you know, other, other continents, other curators uh, now uh, do in other continents their work. And, but uh, to be juxtaposed to this historical uh, context is just very fantastic. And I mean, we see it in this year's um, <clears throat> Biennale that Bice Coriga will introduce, and hopefully she, she can succeed with this, it's not clear yet, uh, three uh, paintings by Tintoretto to greet also the contemporary artists. Uh, important artists don't have to drop dead once they are internationally known, and they have still the right to be exhibited and it doesn't always have to be what's next and new and, and uh, so I think it's, it's good uh, um, when there is a mixture of, of, of both and, and um, depending naturally on, 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 on the curators it's much more or, or less interesting how you show um, an important well-known international artist, you can show parts of this figure. I also would like to have uh, um, the theme of the Biennale known ahead, so that maybe it gives a more intense um, uh, possibility to, to handle that, that, that theme. Um, I like the idea of contextualizing. We have nations, and even if some national pavilions show, let's say, Liam Gillick, uh, the Germans, uh, last time, or the American show, Alor and Calzidia, it shows that they uh, show themselves as a nation which is very open. And it's still, but they, it's a statement from a nation. And I like uh, this idea that it's not just one huge soup of everything, you know, and I think that's a, a really attractive uh, part to the Venice Biennale, which has a nostalgic part to it, naturally because also the architecture of the building still have signs of that really old time, even they have been transformed in these uh, 116 years that the Biennale exists. But uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's a quality and a unique thing in the world. I enjoy the fact that there are so many Biennales now, uh, in order that you can be a little more um, intensively um, and professionally thinking of your, your region and not only be global, you know, and I think this is really very important now that you have uh, to reflect situations in places uh, um, where art critics from these places are very, very strong, so that the thinking and writing and and curating uh, is not only, in a way, also um, uh, a colonialization by, by, by Western art critics and some others. I mean, there is a lot uh, to be done still, and it's a very, very interesting moment. And um, so I'm glad there are, are others, and more and more others. Yeah. Compared to Francesco Bonami now, uh, Bice Kuriger has the completely opposite uh, position. She does it uh, as someone with her experience, with her interest, and handles uh, the curated part uh, she's responsible for uh, with a very small team and uh, not really co-curators, but a collaborator, which is Giovanni Carmine, which she respects very much. And, um, she's in constant discussion with, and, but um, it can be done also by a, a, a single curator. And, uh, but it can be, it should be open to different um, modes and, and, and uh, models. And not, there is not one way of doing it. That would scare me to death, and I think that's the end. <laughs> It's like being in front of a huge buffet. You, you, you take what you like and, and uh, enjoy that and don't think you have to eat every pea that's there. So, I mean, um, um, yes, I think you have to get out of the Biennale 
with some really good ideas you got and that's all right. I think it has to do with biography. I mean, I am Swiss and, and naturally you, you feel at home, even if I haven't started my first uh, youth in Switzerland, I feel at home in Italy where I lived most also uh, before Switzerland. And then I feel at home wherever I'm happy or uh, wherever some friends are. And this goes with where you were kind of happy. I think you can feel at home in, in so many different places. Um, also in places which are really not just beautiful, but uh, in places where, where you kind of get a strong um, emotional or even rational um, relationship to. I think um, it will be English and I'm c kind of happy with it because it's, it will be the language where I can talk to, I can talk uh, in, in India, in, in so many different places and it helps me to communicate and um, we have to learn languages. Beside that, we have to, it's so wonderful to learn languages and, and uh, it's just a way to communicate and um, usually as I'm <laughs> proving now, you can never say as well the things you would like to say than in your mother language. You are speaking, you are having a baby talk, but still uh, you can kind of communicate certain ideas and I think this is, communication is for me very important. I kind of like this idea when na nation becomes a metaphoric thing, thinking of nation as in the, uh, um, the Latin origin is not, so it's birth, so it's a creative moment. And um, kind of, I see the Biennale a little bit like uh, a federation where you have all those nations together, but they are not on fight for the moment. It's not really just only politics. Uh, you kind of look at each other in a very interested way, critical way, certainly, but it's, it's a moment of kind of quite peaceful. And um, so I see that like a nation and I'm glad it, it will dissolve after six months and uh, become another nation in two years. I have many I know and many I don't know. They are subconscious because we are constantly influenced. We are positively or negatively like a virus. We are influenced. <laughs> and uh, you never know really where you came from and where you... So um, I think I have really many uh, nations in myself, but um, there are predominant ones. That is the most difficult question, I think, of the... Of the th because, I mean, it's... Uh, you want that... Um, um, that the, the artist is, the, is free, the freedom is the biggest, uh, the biggest um, given uh, thing in, in, in that uh, constitution, in that, in that state. And, but also kind of humility, kind of, you never lose humor. It's, it would be like these kind of uh, rules I would uh, give uh, as... as um, yeah, it's, it, that's a really difficult <laughs> the rules of... <laughs>